Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tipo Greg here with the Authentic Shell and Kung Fu School. Today on Form and Function, we're gonna be going over Tongbei Chuan. Check it out. Hey, what's going on guys? Sifu Greg here with the Authentic Shell and Kung Fu School. So today, we're gonna be going over Form and Function. We're gonna be doing Tongbei Chuan. Now, there's a lot of Tongbei Chuan videos out there. Through the generations of this form, people do it many different ways, right? So the, the, the structure, you should be able to look at Tongbei Chuan, and it doesn't matter who's doing it, you could always see the structure aligned in there. But you'll have different variations of Tongbei Chuan. Form and function, we want to try to gap the understanding of what Tongbei Chuan was trying to show us. Every single motion in a form is not going to relate to a movement or a technique. People always, you know, we're going to do with a bow and, you know, you're blocking a technique. It's all, that's all crazy bullshit. It doesn't work like that. The bow is a bow. A block is a block, a punch is a punch, a kick is a kick, right? So, in understanding that, when we're going through this whole drill, uh, I want to show you guys what we're going to be doing. So, Tongbei Chuan starts off here with the feet together, right? So, I'm going to back up just a little bit so you guys can see. Feet together, hands here. Tongbei Chuan goes, the beginning of it, that's what we're gonna go over, is here, grabbing in, blocking, and striking. Now obviously the next motion is here, coming through, pulling, and striking and moving forward. But we're not gonna go over the second part of that. We're just gonna work on the first part. Now a lot of people, when they do Tongbei Chuan, and they're taught, you know, again, it's gonna be a little different. When we, what we do, and I'll do it this way so you guys can see it. What we do from here is when, when we move into position and we grab and we punch, my feet are slightly on a 45. Now the reason for this is that when I punch, I can open up my hip and I can work the drill and I can work the technique. If I punch with my feet forward and straight forward, if I hit a target that's not gonna move, the minute I hit, I have no stability anymore. So my heels are gonna plant, my toes are gonna come up, and all the energy that I hit is gonna push me away. But when I move on a 45, I have more area because my hip turns, and now I have my body behind my technique when I throw the punch. We're gonna go through the form and what the form is teaching us as our movement goes and then we'll break it up and we'll do a little bit more of a, uh, a more modern sense of, of movement, okay? And again, form teaches us to, um, to be able to bridge the gap. Form gives us the tools. We have to rip it apart and we have, to, we have to learn and experience by ripping it apart and developing and cultivating the movement. So from here, obviously, this is not gonna work when I'm facing my opponent. So we already see the dilemma in their traditional form, right? but we're gonna go with this so you guys can see what's happening. The first movement is when he throws the punch, I'm gonna step. And when I step, I'm gonna turn my body into the punch. When he throws the other hand, I block with the right hand, I block with the left hand, and then he throws, and I come in to strike right to the jaw. So you see that it's already teaching us, as a traditional set, it's teaching us that somebody's gonna come in with multiple attacks. It's not gonna be just a one, a one punch attack. So I look and I go one, two, three, and hit my opponent. Obviously the next motion we're turning and we're going in the opposite direction. So we're working on fighting two people at this, at this particular time. When we're working the drill here, we wanna focus just on this one technique because this is our, this is when you rip it apart, this is the main part is this this movement here and striking our opponent. So we're getting used to understanding why we're blocking. And look, we're using cat stance. And if you watch the videos prior, you'll see cat stance is a good, um, a good uh, prep or transition stance. And because of that, I'm able to turn my body and work these drills and be able to hit my opponent. Okay? When we're inside, so say we're here and my opponent throws and I'm in this position here, you know, at this particular time here, I can do an iron broom drill. 
I can do a horse dance drill. So my iron broom drill is here, and we can take our opponent down. And this, stay right there, this movement here is just an iron broom. It's a sitting tiger. This is our sitting tiger drill. So I'll add that into the movement. It's not part of the form, but we can add it into the movement, okay? So we'll go just a little quicker so you guys can see the movement. And obviously, look at the distance. So from here, he throws and he's stepping in, and I have to make up the gap. By this, by turning the hip, I get all that power, but look how close I am. So when he throws, I have to back up and then hit my opponent. From here, I just come right in, right over, right underneath that leg. All right? So we'll go a little quicker. So from here, it's gonna be one, two, three, and then four. And bring them right over my hip, right over my shoulder. Shoulder, right over my thigh. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. <laughs> one more time. From here, it's one, two, three, four. And bring them right over. So one, two, three, and four. And take them right off his feet. Okay? So we're gonna do this one more time. And we're just gonna see point of contact. I like that term, point of contact. It makes me sound like I'm smart. So point of contact. As he throws, I turn my body. And we were talking about cross dance also in one of the videos. And that's your cross dance. So right from here, I go right into my cross stance. And then I block, block, strike, and then come right across. And this is perfect because all this power comes right to the back of the thigh. And I come right across. All right, so now if we take this, we're gonna swing back this way. Now if we take this to a modern setting, so now we're already, and that traditional, that traditional movement, that set actually works really good. And you can, you can utilize that in a modern setting. But let's just say, obviously, this is not gonna work. You don't start fighting this way. That's all caca. So from this position here, it's gonna be here. So right from here, um, he throws one. So the minute he throws that other hand, because he's blocking, he's coming in, right? So I'm going here, one, two, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that hand out of the way. This is either an outs, uh, a regular fan block or a palm, right? So one, here, two. Now right from here, this is just a press, right? So right from there, it's a press. And from here, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna strike. And I'm either gonna strike with my high elbow or I'm gonna strike with a low elbow right to the sternum. And then from here, it just comes up and then down this way, okay? So again, we're using our rooster, or we're using a hook with the bottom. The top part is from what's called Sha Ho Chen, a Sha Ho Chen form, which is here, which is an elbow strike. And that elbow strike is gonna go right to the sternum. Whether it hits below the sternum or hits the sternum, it's still gonna do its damage, right? So I go one here, two here, two is here, three, I'm gonna go four here, and then come straight up and bring them right to the floor, okay? So we're gonna do this a little quicker. So from guard stance, we're just gonna run through it slow one more time so you guys see what's happening. The minute he throws, I'm pressing in and punching. As I punch, I pull. He throws, I'm gonna do a double block. He comes in again, and I launch forward. From here, I come under and grab. This is the key. As I come forward, I under and grab, and that's gonna force him to move. All right, so from guard to many he throws, I come in and I bring him right to the floor. Let's try this one more time. So one, two, three, and four. Right to the floor. And he throws here, in, down, right to the floor. So we're gonna go a little tight here so that you can see the flow of the action. That's what my producer is telling me to say. So from guard's head's position, I come in, I block, I come in, and then right here is where I'm gonna take my opponent down. So one more time. So the flow is one, two, three, and then four. All right? So 
With Tongmichuan, all we did was take the first part of the movement. We did add some other stuff in when we were doing the takedown that way. But to make this more modern, you see how it's, it's more, it's, I don't want to say it's more direct because the movement's exactly the same. One, two, and then this, instead of going here, the minute I block, it's already there. So I'm just adding that elbow right in, right? So I'm not taking away from the form. So when people watch it, there's a million different techniques you can do at that point. But what we're trying to do is show form and function of the form. So how the form gives us the movement is how we have to relay it. So we relay it traditionally, and then we rip it down, and then we relay it in a modern sense. The modern sense shouldn't be that much far off from the traditional movement. And that shows that you guys are working your drills. That shows that you guys are working your forms because the form teaches us transition. The form teaches us power. It teaches us proper movement. It teaches us not to cross in the wrong position to keep our body to flow so that we can attack and do what we need to do. So hope this worked out for you guys. Definitely leave stuff in the comments. Please share, like, <laughs> click the bell so you get the instant messages that we've put up in the video. We've been trying to really push the videos as much as we can. We are starting and fixing the Patreon page. So please, uh, in the next couple of weeks, check out the Patreon page. What I'm trying to do is keep the price down and have a Zoom class for a half an hour for people that are part of the Patreon page. It's not gonna be a lot of money, um, two to three bucks, and you guys have the access to actually watch and be a part of a Zoom class for half an hour. And it'll be different topics that we'll be doing and discussing and, and marshalling and everything else. But you guys will have that exclusive being part of the Patreon. Okay guys, and thanks again for everything. I really, really appreciate everything that you guys are doing out there. Um, so just guys, remember, it's all, about, it's all about the training. It's all about understanding that our systems are more similar than they are different. Remember guys, train, don't complain. And we'll see you on the next one.